A cave in France changes what we thought we knew about Neanderthals. A cave in France contains man's earliest known structures that had to be built by Neanderthals who were believed to be incapable of such things. In a French cave deep underground, scientists have discovered what appear to be 176,000 year old man made structures. That's 150,000 years earlier than any that have been discovered anywhere before. And they could only have been built by Neanderthals people who were never before considered capable of such a thing. This is going to force a major shift in the way we see these early hominids. Researchers had thought that Neanderthals were profoundly primitive, and just barely human. This cave in France's of a Iran Valley changes all that. It's suddenly obvious that Neanderthals were not quite so unlike us. According to the Atlantic, Brunicol Cave was first explored in 1990 by Bruno Kowalski, who was 15 at the time. He'd spent three years digging away at trouble covering a space through which his father felt air moving. Some members of a local caving club managed to squeeze through the narrow, 30-meter-long tunnel Kowalski had dug to arrive in a passageway. They followed it past pools of water and old animal bones for over 330 meters before coming into a large chamber and a scene they had no reason to expect, stalagmites that someone had broken into hundreds of small pieces, most of which were arranged into two rings, one roughly six meters across, and one two meters wide, with the remaining pieces stacked into one of four piles or leaning against the rings. There were also indications of fires and burnt bones. What the? A professional archaeologist, Francois Rousaud, determined with carbon dating that a burnt bare bone found in the chamber was 47,600 years old, which made the stalagmite structures older than any known cave painting. It also put the cave squarely within the age of the Neanderthals since they were the only humans in France that early. No one had suspected them of being capable of constructing complex forms or doing anything that far underground. After Rousard suddenly died in 1999, Exploration at the cave stopped until lifelong caver Sophie Verheden, vacationing in the area, heard about it and decided to try and uranium date the stalagmites inside. The team she assembled eventually determined that the stalagmites had been broken up by people 176,000 years ago way farther back even than Ruzard had supposed. There weren't any signs that Neanderthals lived in the cave, so it's a mystery what they were up to down there. Verheden thinks it's unlikely that a solitary artist created the tableaus, and so an organized group of skilled workers must have been involved. And when you see such a structure so far into the cave, you think of something cultural or religious, but that's not proven. Verheden told the Atlantic, whatever they built, the Brunicol cave reveals some big surprises about Neanderthals, they had fire, they built things, and likely used tools. Add this to recent discoveries that suggest they buried their dead, made art, and maybe even had language, and these mysterious proto-humans start looking a lot more familiar, a lot more like Homo sapiens, and a lot more like distant cousins lost to history.